were wondered where the terrifying creatures from a quiet place came from. What are these death angels that reduced human society to near silence and terror? Today, we are diving deep into the origins of these monsters and unraveling all the clues. So, let's begin. Let's start by looking at what we know about the Death Angels. The name Death Angels comes from a newspaper clipping in the first film. Although it's never used directly in the series, director John Krasinski gives us a fascinating backstory. The Death Angels are predators from a distant dark planet where the gravity is so intense and light is non-existent. Imagine a world shrouded in perpetual darkness, where organisms rely on senses beyond sight. Here the Death Angels evolved into perfect hunters, tracking any living creature by sound alone. This explains their blindness and why they develop the extraordinary hearing abilities that now make them so dangerous on Earth. Having evolved in such harsh and dark environment, the Death Angels developed a unique physical form that enhances their survival as deadly predators. These aren't your typical alien monsters, they are terrifying hunters with super sensitive hearing, nearly invisible armor and a relentless thirst for silence. They have a frightening appearance, their skin is tough and armor-like, making it impossible to hurt them with regular weapons. They are between 6 to 9 feet tall, looking like a mix of gorillas and bats. Their heads are covered by a broken shell and opens up to show soft tissue inside. They have super sensitive ears that are protected by movable plates on their face, helping them use sound to hunt. This special body structure makes them powerful predators that are very hard to kill unless their soft inner tissue is exposed. And here's where things get interesting. With no sunlight, their alien planet likely had a unique ecosystem. Plants didn't need photosynthesis to grow, and the death angels adapted to feed on this unusual flora. But then, probably something catastrophic happened. A massive disaster shattered their planet, sending debris and tragically these creatures across the universe until they reached Earth. And when they did, Earth wasn't ready for the kind of chaos they would bring. But what exactly makes these creatures hunt humans and animals so mercilessly? The Death Angel's reaction to sound isn't just because they are cranky, although that would make for a funny reason. Their hearing sensitivity might be way beyond anything humans experience. Let's break it down. Human ears can tolerate sounds up to about 120 decibels, which would cause hearing damage and pain. But for Death Angels, their tolerance could be far lower. Even normal conversation, which is around 60-65 decibels, may be unbearable to them. When they hear us talking, it's like nails on a chalkboard, but a thousand times worse. So they get irritated and kill the source of the noise. Now you might be wondering, if they kill humans, why don't they eat them? The answer lies in their biology. Having evolved in a different ecosystem, their anatomy isn't compatible with Earth's organic material. So their bodies and anatomy is adaptive to that sort of environment and the food which grows there. In a quiet place day one, we also see them consuming plants brought with them from their own planet. Earth's food isn't just their cup of tea, or rather it's incompatible with their biology. So they kill purely to silence the noise. They are only suitable to eating their planet's food, not humans or animals from Earth. But this is just my speculation, but uh, has the high chance of being right. And probably even with limited amount of nutrition, they can survive for days. We also have such animals on Earth, like tardigrades, they can survive for years without food. So death angels could have similar biology to this. And we all know that even with limited food, they are still incredibly strong for humans. And if these creatures are so strong and impossible to fight, is there anything that can bring them down? Let's look at the two weaknesses that humans have discovered. Death angels have a few key vulnerabilities. First, they are incredibly sensitive to high frequency sounds. In a quiet place part 2, Marcus takes advantage of this by using Regan's high frequency transmission. When blasted with this frequency, the death angel freezes, exposing its soft inner tissue, making it vulnerable to gunfire. Then Marcus shoots the death angel to death, and it's the only way to get past their armor-like skin. And there's another weakness, water. These creatures can't swim and avoid large bodies of water. Think of it as a phobia or maybe they just can't stand the constant sound of rushing water. For humans, this was a revelation. Areas near waterfalls or rivers became sanctuaries where survivors could talk freely without drawing attention. Imagine the relief of finally speaking without fear, even if only for a moment. These terrifying features not only make the death angels formidable hunters, but also play a crucial role in how they affect humanity once they arrive on Earth. The Death Angels brought a terrifying shift to human life. Their invasion forced humans to adopt a silent existence where the smallest noise could mean death. Communities fell apart, cities were abandoned, and people learned to communicate without words. Humanity had to adapt, creating a world ruled by silence, fear, and trust issues. Every day became a test of survival against creatures driven purely by 
As we have seen, the Death Angels aren't just mindless monsters, they are perfectly evolved hunters, shaped by the harshest conditions in the universe. Their arrival reshaped human world, turning everyday sounds into deadly signals and forcing humanity to live in a haunting silence. In the end, a quiet place serves as a chilling reminder of how fragile our world can be when facing the unknown. Their explanation has left me with more questions about the darker side of cinematic creations. Don't miss our explanation of Long Legs and its ending. Just click on the video flashing on the screen. Thanks for watching.